What's up, Internet? I'm Todd Awesome, and I'm going to show you through this week's Nightfall. This week's Nightfall is the Nexus, and the modifiers are Epic, Angry, Juggler, Voidburn, and of course, the Nightfall. So if everyone dies, everyone is returned to orbit. Let's do it. All right, guys, so the first area you spawn into doesn't really matter, so just kind of power on through it. Don't worry about killing any of the Vex or the Fallen that are in the area. Just kind of move through and follow your waypoint until you reach the first main room where the respawn gets restricted. All right, guys, so once you reach the first room where your respawn is restricted, you're going to need to kill three different servitors. Now, those servitors spawn from different parts of the map, but I would focus on making the entrance your home base when you're doing this part of the strike mission. The reason that is is because because it provides you a lot of cover. Now, with the Void Burn being one of the modifiers this week, there aren't a lot of enemies that do Void, especially not until you start to reach the Vex, but the Servitors do have Void damage. So, you can venture out a little bit, but once the Servitors come out, make sure if you need to drop back to that first room to regain your health, you have that option. So, just take out the three Servitors. Once you do that, the room upstairs will open and some more Fallen will come out. Make sure you take them out and then run up through into that first room. I have a fun way of getting up into that first room and then clear out the fallen that are there. So once you've killed the servitors and you're moving on to the next part of this strike mission, you're going to see that you're going to shift from killing fallen to vex. Now this shift happens pretty quickly on your way to the next area. You're going to kill a bunch of fallen and you'll see where the fallen and vex are fighting. You're going to kill everyone in that area, obviously, and then you're going to move into where you're now just focusing on vex. All right, guys. So once you've killed all the fallen and have switched over to fighting vex, you're going to head downstairs and there's going to be a small little room with two harpies in it. Kill those harpies and there's going to be two exits to that room. I usually go out the right, take out all the Vex goblins that are there, snipe the Vex goblins that are across the way and then there's some more Vex right down there. And then you're going to see two Minotaurs that are hanging out right there. You're going to need to kill both of those. Now both of these do void damage so try and kill them from a distance. If you have rockets that track or sniper rifles, use those to take them out. And then push through to the next little part of this strike mission. So once you've taken out the two Minotaurs, you're going to have a few more Vex to take out. You're going to continue on through that walkway that kind of goes over the ledge. You know where those teleporting Vex are. Take out those teleporting Vex and then into the cave. Now a lot of people stay in this cave and overlook onto the Nexus and cheese him from up there. I don't know that that's the best idea when there's Void Burn because a Minotaur will spawn behind you and he can take you out very quickly with his Void Cannon. So I like to jump down into the boss battle area and then take up spot off to the right. Now you're going to have to clear out all the Minotaurs that have those void cannons down here as well so be careful revive any of your fallen companions if they have fallen and then get to your spots as the nexus spawns in so once the Nexus spawns in, it's a pretty easy boss fight. You're going to focus on hitting him with all the heavy, all the special, or all the really void damage that you can. So what I did was I hit him with my void rockets over and over, and I would hide to reload, or if he started to hit me, I would hide behind that ledge there, and then I would just jump up and shoot him some more. Once I ran out of rockets, I switched over to Atheon's epilogue, and that helped me take him out quite a bit. Once you get him down to about half health, he's going to start spawning in more Vex to help him fight you off. Just use your your supers or whatever you can to take out those ads. Once you've taken out the ads, focus on the boss again. This cycle repeats quite a few times until you take them out. Although with the void burn being the modifier this week, if you have the right weapons, you can take them out pretty quickly. Yeah, so that's what we did. I think it took about three rounds of us killing his ads and then jumping back up and taking him out some more. It was pretty easy to be honest with you. I obviously need to give a big thanks to Ribshack2012 and this week a special guest, Les PC, for helping me out this week. Thanks for getting up so early and both those guys are on the East Coast so they had to get up at 4 a.m. for this junk. Gross! After all that work, Bungie decides to reward me with an exotic that I'm already wearing. Thank you. Thank you, Bungie. All right, remember guys, so if you want to be the first to get your weekly Nightfall walkthrough video every Tuesday morning or your Zer location and stock video every Friday morning, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I get up with a reset both of those days to make these videos for my subscribers. I want to make sure they have the information first. If you want to hang out with me while I play live, make sure you follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Todd Awesome. Every Nightfall night, that's Tuesday nights, I do giveaways to help run people through the Nightfalls. Now, if you know a better way of doing this Nightfall, make sure you leave a comment below on how to do that. I love when we share that kind of information with each other. It only helps everyone out. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me in this Nexus Nightfall. I got to run into work, so I guess I'll see you guys online.
George Lucas gonna sue somebody. 